Gingerol, properly as 6 gingerol, is a phenol phytochemical compound, found in fresh ginger, that activates spice receptors on the tongue. Molecular La gingerol is a relative of capsaicin and piperin, the compounds which are alkaloids, though the bioactive pathways are unconnected. It is normally found as a pungent yellow oil in the ginger rhizome, but can also form a low-melting crystalline solid. This chemical compound is found in all members of the Zingiberaceae family plant and is high in concentrations in the grains of paradise as well as an African ginger species. In a pre-clinical meta-analysis of gingerol compounds, anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory, antifungal, antioxidant, neuroprotective and gastroprotective properties were reported, which include studies in vitro and in vivo. A few in vivo studies have proposed that gingerols facilitate healthy glucose regulation for diabetics. Many studies have been around the effects of gingerols, on a wide range of cancers, including leukemia, prostate, breast, skin, ovarian, lung, pancreatic and colorectal. There has not been much clinical testing to observe gingerols' physiological impacts in human. Ginger, has been used by humans, for thousands of years, in addition to its dramatic smell and taste, it has been an indispensable part of humanity in health. Traditional use of ginger root, taken between 1 and 20 grams per day, in clinical trials has been determined to be safe. The equivalent amount of gingerol extract, is about 750 mg, because, the amount of gingerol in ginger root is about 5%. 750 mg is the total daily dose, it is usually taken 250 mg 3 times a day. Safety first. Do not start taking any chemical treatment without protecting yourself. You must first protect your face and hands. Proper lab rats you will wear glasses and gloves. The environment you work should be well ventilated. Flammable and explosive chemicals must be stored away from heat sources and electrical sparks. Please do not apply this experiment that you will watch a little later without necessary laboratory equipment and chemistry knowledge. Always avoid harming yourself and your environment. We start, by packing, 100 grams of ginger root powder, into a 150 milliliter soxlet extractor. We add 500 milliliters of acetone, into the round bottom flask, and turn on the heater by putting magnetic fish in it. We will continue, processing for about 4 hours after the start of the first cycle, at the end of the process, the acetone, collected in the Soxlet device, should become completely colorless. When the process ends in this way, the heater is turned off, and the round bottom flask is separated from the device, and left to cool for a few hours. The solution is filtered, through a funnel and coarse filter paper into another flask, In order to prevent mechanical losses, the inside of the round bottom flask is rinsed with some acetone.
The second thing, we need to do is to completely evaporate the acetone, used in the extraction process. For this, we set up a simple distillation device. The boiling point of acetone, is 56 degrees. We start the process by turning on the heater. In the meantime, we weigh an empty container of 100 milliliters. As you can see, it weighs 46.91 grams. As the distillation process continues, the extraction solvent, continues to fill rapidly into the other container. We stop the process, when approximately 50 milliliters of extract remain, at the bottom of the round bottom flask. Thus, we concentrated, 500 milliliters of acetone extract by 10%. Approximately, 450 milliliters of acetone were collected in the other container. We can use this solvent later. The extract is left to cool for a while. Then it is filtered by draining the flask, which we weighed a little while ago. In order to prevent mechanical loss, the inside of the round bottom flask, is washed again with some acetone. Yes, we finally have about 60 milliliters of ginger extract. The next step is to completely remove the acetone left in the extract. We will do this, by using a hot water bath, in order not to burn ginger all. We put the magnetic fish into the flask, and completely evaporate the acetone, in hot water. As a result, an oily and viscous liquid will remain at the bottom of the container. This is gingerol. However, it may still carry some traces of acetone. We put it in a 40 degree oven, for a few hours to be completely sure. We wait, the crude extract, which we dried at 40 degrees, for a few more hours. This time, it comes 52.33 grams. This means, that we get, 5.42 grams of crude ginger extract. Finally, we obtained, 5.4% crude gingerol from 100 grams of ginger root. In this section, our aim is to clean the extract that hardens after drying, and to remove the polar impurities in it. We will first, wash the extract dissolved in ethyl acetate with pure water three times, and transfer the polar molecules in ethyl acetate to the aqueous phase. We add 80 milliliters of ethyl acetate in a 100 milliliters flask and place it on the heater. When the ethyl acetate reaches the boiling point, we turn off the heater. By adding hot solvent into the container with dried extract, we ensure that the gingerol is completely dissolved. First, we dissolve the extract using a glass stick. Then we mix it for half an hour using a magnetic stirrer. The extract, dissolved in ethyl acetate, is allowed to cool for a while. It is then passed through coarse filter paper and poured into a separatory funnel. At this point, our aim is to remove unwanted and water-soluble polar impurities in the extract, because, gingerol is an apolar molecule.
For this process, we add 150 milliliters of pure water, on the ethyl acetate extract in the separatory funnel. We gently shake the funnel 5 to 10 times. In the meantime, do not forget to discharge the trapped gas by opening the tap of the funnel. At the end of the process, the water phase becomes cloudy. As the ethyl acetate portion absorbs some water, it appears slightly cloudy too. The separatory funnel is placed on the stand, we wait for approximately half an hour so that water and ethyl acetate phase can be separated well. As seen at the end, the two layers are completely separated from each other. The aqueous portion is carefully transferred into another flask. This washing process is repeated two more times by adding 150 milliliters of pure water to the separatory funnel. Finally, about 450 milliliters of aqueous part collected in the flask is decanted. This section contains unwanted polar impurity. Finally, we will wash the extract, with saturated 30% brine solution. We put 75 grams of sodium chloroar and 250 milliliters of pure water into a flask and mix it to dissolve the salt. Thus, we will dry the remaining water in the extract. At the end of this process, the ethyl acetate extract will get a clear appearance again. Add the brine solution into the separatory funnel and shake it for a while. The ethyl acetate portion looks clear now. After decanting the aqueous part, pour the extract into anethyte flask. But it may still contain some water. Add some sodium sulfate and shake it, wait half an hour. Then pour the extract into another flask by filtering through a coarse filter paper. Evaporate ethyl acetate on light heat until completely dry. Then put it in a 40 degree oven and continue drying for about 2 hours. We weigh the oven dried extract again, after subtracting the weight of the flask from the total weight, the amount of net extract, is 3 grams. We will need 12 milliliters of pure ethyl alcohol to make a tincture containing 250 milligrams of gingerol at every each milliliter. So, we will dissolve 3 grams of extract in 12 milliliters of hot ethanol and make a 12 dose tincture. 1 milliliter is about 22 drops. 